So I thought it would be a great demonstration of the power of 3D sketching and making this awesome uh, complex shape that is an icosahedron. Uh, 20 uh, equilateral triangle faces are making this shape. Uh, there is a lot of information about uh, this shape uh, in a um, Wikipedia page um, that comes with the mathematical expressions and equations getting you to a uh, um, the math behind um, a shape like that and I thought it would be really interesting to recreate this shape by creating uh, constraints of lines and triangles uh, only um, as a demonstration of the power of 3D sketching. Um, so one of the things that the way I got to it just as an, an explanation is that Blender has a way of adding um, a, an icosphere, uh, basically a sphere made out of triangles that are uh, circumscribed inside that sphere. Each and every one of those vertices uh, are touching um, or almost like uh, they're, they're touching the face of the sphere. So um, let's jump right into Fusion and I'm going to um, show you how it's done. So I'm going to create a new design and we're simply going to make sketches and the sketches are going to turn into a 3D shape eventually. Um, so under the create menu, create a sketch. And what I want to start with is recreating the pentagon shape that repeats many times in um, as a pattern around the icosahedron shape. So um, I'm selecting in the create create sketch. I'm, I'm going to select the x and y axis plane as a plane to draw my my first initial shape. And I'm going to start with a circumscribed polygon. We're going to make a pentagon, and I'll select the point of origin as a good starting. And I will follow with the mouse tracing the uh, y axis here, the green axis, and. I'm going to tell it to have five edges, which will create a pentagon, and the radius of the uh, circumscribed circle would be two inches. That really doesn't matter um, because it only determines a, a relative edge length of the pentagon, which will become the edge length of each and every one of the equilateral triangles that make the icosahedron. Um, so that's a first step. Second step, I'm going to start constraining by selecting uh, one of the edges of the pentagon, right-click in it, sorry, right-click in it, and fixing it, uh, which will uh, immobilize the, the shape. The shape is now black edges, which means it cannot be moved from its position. It's constrained enough that uh, this, is, this makes the shape uh, stationary. So I'm selecting the point of origin and dragging a line with only making sure I don't even need it doesn't have to be even constrained with the degrees so I'm just gonna drag it upwards in a weird angle and a weird length because everything from this point on is going to be constraints and when I say constraints we what we're trying to make is a multiple a, a equilateral triangles so here is one triangle connecting between these dots and therefore there's going to be the rest of them. So I'm quickly going to click with the line tool between points in the space and now we obviously can see that we have triangles that are not, th their edges are not equilateral. And so I'm going to use the equal constraint from the constraint toolbar on the top and I'm going to force the lines to be equal to the edges of the pentagon on the bottom and by forcing multiple lines to have those constraints I'm creating a shape that can only exist um, under those constraints basically why, right now when I still did one too many it tells me the sketch geometry is over constraint which means this shape cannot exist in any other way those triangles are now fully constrained this line is perpendicular to the ground each of these edges is 2.906 because the edges of the pentagon is 2.906 and it's exactly where we want to go with it. So um, now that I have this initial shape that you recognize it from 
the uh, polyhydro uh, um, um from the blender example we can try and keep on working and making the 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 pattern that makes all sort of a belt around and uh, the center part of the icosahedron there is no real center to it it's just uh, it depends on where you're viewing it but let's call it that way it's easier to understand how we make this pattern so uh, the rest is me going to make uh, lines and constraining them uh, to be equal in length to the edges of the pentagon and by that we're going to have equilateral triangles. So from here I'm going to move fast. And so this is part one. We got the top, we got the belt that goes around it, and now I can flip it over and I can finish uh, with it. I, I, again, I need sort of a, a line reaching a certain point somewhere here. It doesn't really matter. And then the rest of the lines are connected to the other vertices. So I can finish this sketch. And let's look at what we have. We made by with sketch as edges only. And this is a icosahedron shape, but we now need to turn it into um, a solid. Uh, we can also use the surface, but we'll start with a surfacing environment and turn it into solid from there. So surface environment using the patch tool, which creates a planner or a 3D surface within the boundary of specified closed loops. So a closed loop, uh, this is a closed loop. A triangle is a closed loop of edges. We have three vertices where the edges meet, so I can select the profile. You don't want to select edges here because the profile is already a closed loop. So at each and every one of these profiles, if I select them, as you can see, I'm patching multiple, uh, multiple profiles. The difference in colors, yeah, gold and uh, silver, are indication of inwards and outwards uh, facing uh, faces uh, or what's called the normal and uh, the normal of a three-dimensional shape it has a uh, technically not always but if it's a sphere for example it has excellent dissected an edge there if it has a, a volume inside that volume should be the the golden edge uh, uh, color that you'll see right now if it's facing outwards it should be silver. So if you're concerned with that, which might cause problems in 3D printing, uh, reverse uh, polygons uh, that you might see, um, there is a tool here that we can reverse the normal. So by selecting faces that are supposed to be inwards facing and clicking OK, they are just reversing there. And so now the triangle, uh, this face is pointing outwards and the other side of that face is is golden and facing inwards but it's not really important for us because once we are going to select all these bodies they are bodies essentially for a uh, hide body number one you can see that this is actually a shape made out of multiple triangular triangular bodies that are surface bodies so they're um, two-dimensional um, or not two-dimensional but they have no thickness to them um, so I'm selecting these 20 faces as we expected from an icosahedron and I'm stitching it together and the stitching will result in a solid body so you'll see that immediately all those 20 turned into a solid body you can go back to the solid environment I can also show you by inspecting and making a section analysis um, I'm going to select the X and Y axis and we can immediately see that we are dealing with a solid here. So here is uh, making a 3D sketching into a three-dimensional shape, um, a very complex one that has a lot of math going into it, but with constraining only, we were able to uh, reach this complex shape, given that there's only one shape following this pattern of triangles, as we um, as we did that uh, by constraining the e uh, equality between edges, we got to the shape itself, and that's all. That was um, my way of showing you how to make uh, use of three uh, D sketching.